Hey y'all, it's Bowen. Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I have had a chance to work on a YouTube video and update you guys on some exciting things going on in life. Not only that, but I have literally tried to have this video upload, uploaded at least three times. I've had like every single weird thing happen to my computer, happen to my iMovie system, all this stuff, and it's been so frustrating. I honestly had to give up for a little while and then try to come back and now I think it's gonna work so hopefully I will get to upload this video for you it has been a busy spring and summer um, I've been here in the garden pretty much every morning working my garden and just really really enjoying it this year I have gotten so many tomatoes so many flowers so many herbs we've grown a 13 pound watermelon we have more watermelons coming sunflowers, long beans. It has been such a joy this summer and I have been spending, like I said, a lot of time out here. This is where a lot of my time has gone this summer. So the exciting news is that we are expecting a baby that is going to arrive this fall, which is right around the corner. I'm well into the third trimester at this point. I just, like I said, haven't had the chance to get any of these videos completed and uploaded. So I'm hoping to do some more content that relates to like pregnancy and postpartum, but we'll see. Hopefully all of my gear will cooperate with me and I can continue to make videos. So here's a quick little look through of the garden. This was in springtime. It looks a little different now, but you see there's tomatoes. We have a hibiscus plant. Our cucumbers have done amazing. They're still producing, which is really crazy for Texas but I got a really heat tolerant variety. These are the long beans. They are so fun. I highly recommend trying to grow these. They're tasty and they're just really cool to grow. I have been making a lot of flower arrangements this summer. I like taking them to whoever I'm going to see. I've had so many flowers. I've been harvesting also a lot of herbs. That was kind of my goal this summer was to grow some herbs for the baby and for just postpartum stuff. So I'm growing a lot of calendula. I've already, I mean, the calendula is kind of done here because of the heat, but I've harvested almost a quart of calendula flowers that I'm infusing in olive oil and making some different soaps. And I'm hoping to make like a uh, nipple and baby balm cream. So that's really cool that I've grown that myself. I've also harvested and grown a bunch of sage and I was like, what am I going to do with all this sage? Because there's only so much you need for cooking. And I mean, truly, I have harvested like probably three quarts dried of sage. So I learned that you can use sage in your sitz bath postpartum. So I'm actually going to be making my own sitz bath as well with a bunch of the sage that I grew. So just working on all of these garden things you can imagine, it's it's just kept me super busy and that's why I've not found a lot of time to record and do this. I mean, I, I really think it's amazing people that are able to like record as they're doing these things, but that's just so hard for me. Like I just wanna get the thing done and not pull out my camera and half the time, you know, like my kitchen is like a working disaster I, and I just, so anyway, those are some of my personal struggles with like recording these things. I want to share them with people because I love watching videos like this of people who are, I guess, similar to me and that they like to do a lot of things themselves. They like to grow things. They like to be involved in the whole process, basically. But it's really hard to film this and then come back and like do all the editing and all this stuff. So I don't know. I'm just kind of mentally working through that. I love sharing these things and I love, um, you know, doing it, but it's, it's so hard to record and actually get on video. So anyway, that's a little tangent, but there's been a lot of herb preserving going on here. I have preserved <laughs> so many. This is a little small glimpse into my preservation cabinet of things I've preserved this summer. This was recorded again in early spring, so it's a lot more overflowing at this point, but this gives you an idea that I've been pretty busy. I've done almost three dozen pints of bone broth for postpartum. You can see some of them are on the top shelf. Um, I you know, air dried all of the calendula and all of the chamomile that I preserved. 
We also did some peach preserves and some strawberry rhubarb jam, which is going to be so tasty. So I guess the next big announcement is that I wrote a book and self-published this book. This was put on my heart um, in 2020. And so it's been, you know, a year, a several year process to get this book written. So as a dietitian, there's obviously I have a huge passion for nutrition and simplifying it for people so that they realize that, you know, cooking meals from scratch, putting meals together can become a part of your life. You just have to figure out how to integrate it. And sometimes it's the integrating and the learning that's actually harder than the actual doing part. And so that's kind of what this workbook really is. Um, it's hard for me to describe it quickly um, because there's so much packed into it. So I'm just going to leave a link for you to go to my website to read about it. I have sample pages you can download. I give you all the contents of it so you know what's in it. But essentially, I teach you how to put together meals using a formula so that you don't need to rely on a meal plan or someone else to plan things out for you. You learn the formula, you translate that formula to your pantry, you stock your pantry with the right foods that work for your culture, for your family, plug them into the formula, and build your meals. That's kind of, in a nutshell, what this book is, but there's a lot more in between all of that. So if you're interested, just go to my website and check it out. It is printed in Texas, so they are printed on very high quality workbook paper so that you can write in it if you want to. I like to say that it's really an heirloom book. It's meant to be passed down to your kids so you can teach them about these things and the information is just very long lasting because it's based on common sense but it also you know intersects with my knowledge as a dietitian and then also just some traditional practices like storing food long term which is very beneficial for keeping your pantry stocked and thus you know eating healthy meals so i've been very busy with that i had so many orders on the first round that i actually sold out all the books that i had in inventory and then i just ordered another round of books so I am stocked up for a little while, hopefully. There's just been a lot of learning curves with me learning to ship these books, learning how to do the sales tax and report the sales tax, and just all of those things. It's really grown me in a lot of ways with my business. And just to be totally transparent and honest, sometimes I'm like, why am I doing this? It, it feels like it pulls me away a little bit from my family and my garden and all of this, all of these things, but I really felt like God put it on my heart to write this book to help people develop these skills in a time when it's going to be really helpful to know these skills because you can save a lot of money if you know these skills. So just a little tidbit of, I don't know, my thoughts, but I really just wanted to make this video to update y'all on what's been going on here. It's mainly just, we're having a baby, I wrote a book, my business has grown a little bit in this aspect, and it's just, just a lot of life things happening. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I have for you today. I'm hoping, I mean, I really am genuinely hoping to make some more pregnancy and postpartum videos before this baby is born um, because I love, also love watching those videos too. I just, I love it. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well and I really appreciate you watching and supporting my channel.